Sandra. Ooh, local Dallas Fort Worth Ooh, area. Nice. DFW. Hey, Sandra. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Thank you for putting me on the air. I'm a little nervous. I'm 59 years old. No and uh, I've disconnected from my family because of my beliefs. Mm. Oof. Recently? Yes, I'm going to start crying. I'm sorry. Right before my birthday, my son told me I was crazy and he wanted nothing to do with me unless I got help. So I turned to y'all for help and I feel better about things. And if they choose to be out of my life because I don't want to believe what they believe, that's on them. I'm sorry. That I'm is, nervous. There's <laughs> that nothing is to be okay. sorry about. That sounds like a horrible thing to have to go through. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I... It's okay. You're right, though. You're right. It is. It is on them. You 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 are being true to yourself and you are being honest with them. And if they they decided that who you really are is not someone they want to be associated with, that's their loss. Because mm -hmm. I don't know you, Sandra, but you sound kind of well, awesome. <laughs> thank you. You are sweet. But let me tell you, um, this wasn't something that I just, you know, oh, I, I'm, I'm against y'all, so, and y'all are so hateful because you're Christians that mm -hmm. I've decided. This took me 20 years. I went from Christianity to studying, uh, meeting up with pagans, and then I uh, started getting on YouTube and reading the ancient texts and seeing all the different virgin births and all this stuff. And then I went over to Hinduism. I'm like, there's so many similarities. What's really yeah. the truth? And yeah. I started searching inside of my own what I really believed. And I started watching Eric and Matt and how they were, because uh, I never questioned what I was being told. And they shared their experience with Christianity. And then they, uh, them and Tracy were the first three that, I think it's Tracy, that lady, she's awesome. But yeah, those, the those... first three that I experienced. Me too. <laughs> I listened to them and the reasoning, I mean, I'm like, yes, <laughs> exactly. Yep. You can't tell a Christian that. They're going to tell you that you're closed-minded. I went through that. And no matter what I did, I didn't fit in with those people because I questions constantly. And I'm sorry, I'm babbling on and on. But if it no. wasn't for y'all, I would have never been able to close the door on that. The only I have a couple of reservations that I want to ask y'all's input on this. If, if sure. You can. Of course. Okay. okay. So... When I was 39, the other one was like a, a freak dream that happened. I had a dream. I woke up and it happened. But this other one, when I was 39, I hadn't spoke with my father in 39 years. I'm sitting at work, working in a call center, and mm -hmm. I keep having this urge to call him, you know, that inner voice. Call your father. I'm like, no, I'm working. And it kept on pressing. Well, I called him. I told him I loved him. And he told me he loved him. He was going through some stuff. And that night he died. He died. So I thought, oh, that was God. That was the Holy Spirit. What causes something like that to happen? I need to satisfy that in my mind <laughs> so I don't have these reservations. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. we don't look for anything to hold on to a, a belief system that's been indoctrinated into our mind. Mm -hmm. so Absolutely. What could I, cause I, something like that? Well, th there, there are a couple of things. Um, the okay. first is that if if that happened to be true, like let's say there was a God that was telling you that you need to call your father. That would say a lot of things about that God. And it definitely wouldn't reinforce the God that you were raised to believe in. Right? That, that that God would know that your dad's about to die and so is going to give you that chance. Because what does that mean for everybody who didn't get that chance? Oh, wow. I never looked at it that way. How self-centered. It, 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 it is. Um, and I, I, I don't mean to say that in a mean way, but we, we do. We focus on no, ourselves and we don't. Yeah, we we, yeah. we don't necessarily focus on what the implications of that are the other way around. Yeah. Also, um, there are so many things that we experience and that we uh, pick up on that are subconscious. Right. Um, there, there's there are entire fields of study that 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 go into micro expressions and and the small things that we do physically, non verbally, to communicate things. Mirror neurons. Yeah, <laughs> and I mean there may have been something that clued you in. Maybe he wasn't feeling well. Maybe you noticed something that, that dragged on you or you heard talking or you spoke to a family member or somebody at, you know, at some point recently who said, Hey, you know, maybe he's not doing so well. Um, but I all didn't of think those, about that. Yeah, it, it's, it's just like the caller that, uh, that called in earlier. Um, when you prime yourself for something, when you start thinking about a thing, you see it more and more often. 
And yeah. it, th there's a chance that if you knew that he was having a hard time, that you would be thinking about him. Yeah. And I mean, right. that, that, that follows. Also, it's okay to just say, I don't know as well. So you've been told that, oh, well, this is the, the answer to this uh, this question, right? Why did I feel this way? Why did this happen? Oh, well, the answer is God. Just because that's not the answer anymore doesn't mean you have to sub in with something else. I had several experiences very, very much like you, and I cannot for the life of me explain them away. Apparently, when I was a kid, I was tugging on my ear. Okay. And my mom was like, what are you doing? Why are you playing with your ear? What's wrong? And I, I told her that a friend that she hadn't talked to in a while, her daughter had an ear infection. Her ear was hurting her. Well, and my mom was like, that's weird. So she calls her friend and it turns out her daughter had an ear infection and well, she hadn't known hard. about it. And I was like, that's interesting. And when I was growing up, I was told I had like the gift of prophecy or something, right? And looking back at it, I don't have to say, well, it was either the gift of prophecy or something else. I can say, well, I know it wasn't the gift of prophecy because that hasn't been borne out in any substantial way across the board. So I'm going to lay that to rest as a possible explanation. What else is there? I don't really know. And you know what? I'm going to probably go to my grave not knowing. And we have to be okay with that sometimes. And, and honestly, that can be the best. It really can. It can be the absolute best. So um, a, a, an example that I use, I picked up from Tim Minchin, and that is um, you find the love of your life and they're one in a million. And where you'd live on a planet with 7 billion people, which means that there are 7,000 people exactly like them. <laughs> Um, and <laughs> right that's pretty good yeah. um, but what it also means though is let's say you got you screwed up it doesn't mean that you lost the only one that you were ever going to have right you're just not that special you know the the right. the the wonderful part about being just another human is that you can cherish a lot of those things. So the fact that you got to say, I love you before he passed is amazing. And I think it's made even more amazing by the fact that you reached out and got to have that experience. And it's not because someone wanted you to, but because you got to have that experience. That that makes it more wonderful, I think. And it doesn't give give some, you know, nebulous entity the 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 credit. Right. What it does is is it highlights and embraces the fact that you got to have that wonderful experience. It doesn't need to mean anything more than what it is, which is you got to say goodbye to your dad, which is beautiful and something that should be cherished and talked about and wondered mm -hmm. over. But just because you don't have a an answer as to why exactly that happened doesn't lessen it in any way. Yeah. Well, and let me say this. I appreciate the fact that y'all are telling me, because I'm 59, and I've always had to fix everything or know the answer to everything, that I don't know everything. My understanding yeah. is limited. Yeah. So uh, it just feels good to hear that from other people. And I've heard y'all say it on the show. We don't know. The thing yeah. is, is it's not that we, we're trying to tell you we know. We want you to prove to us why there is. I, that's what I appreciate about your atheist channel is you're not attacking other people for believing. You're just asking them, hey, why do you believe? There's no evidence. You know, and it, it's, you guys are awesome. You would change oh, a lot. If I had not found y'all's channel, if I had not found y'all's channel, I would feel like I'm alone in the world. I isolate already. I'm, I'm very introverted at this point. But had I not found you, I'm sorry, I'm so excited. No, had I not okay. found y'all. <laughs> on, on YouTube, thank, listen, listen to me. I was going to say, thank God for YouTube. <laughs> I'm so sorry for saying that. Why? Uh, what? Old habits die hard, right? Uh, I'm so grateful to y'all for doing this, and I am going to get on your Patreon page because I'm so grateful. You guys mm -hmm. just don't know. You're saving my life. My doctor put me on uh, a low dose of Prozac because things were getting really, really dark for me. Even though I could see y'all on TV, I'm still alone. Mm -hmm. And um, y'all taking my call today made all the difference. It, it gave me that connection I needed. So thank Good. you so much for taking the time to talk to me today. 
Thank you. That is affirmation that just... Uh, uh, we, I'm so happy you found the channel. We're so happy that <laughs> that you got to have that experience. That is the most affirming freaking thing ever. I, I I'm good. And honestly, God. you're in you're in Fort Worth. Once this is over, come and meet us. Yeah, we'd love to hang out with you and see you. <laughs> I would love to, guys. I love all of y'all. I, I'm so every day when I watch your channels, I. You know, I, I talked about going and see, not going and seeing family because when you leave, you feel worse. Every time I watch y'all's channel and then it's over, I'm wanting to go find more because I feel better about everything. Not that we go on feelings, but it affirms everything I already understand about what is, what, what is right for me. You understand? So thank you. I, I'm gonna. I'll talk your ear off. <laughs> That's okay. We're, my call for days. No worries. We want to make sure that we have enough time to thank the uh, the crew and all of that. So we're probably gonna head on over and do that. But thank you. This was such a lovely way to end out the show. Thank that you, is. Sandra, and keep on being you. It sounds like you're you're on the right track. And come to the ACA once COVID is over. We'd Agreed. love to see you. I sure will. Take okay. care. Y'all take care. Bye. Bye. -bye. <sighs> I can't well, believe it's already time. Um, I know. This is definitely so. Thank you all for being patient with us. Uh, this has definitely been a tech interesting day. This, this has been an interesting day. Sh sharing a microphone. Uh, uh, this uh, is a thing. We're, we're, we're currently <laughs> holding the microphone up because the gaffer's tape that we use to secure it has failed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And and V warned me before the show that this was gonna happen. He's like, nah, it'll hold for ninety minutes. Nope. No. Nope. All right. <laughs> but here's um, the thing. We were super stressed before the show started. We were. And getting to hear calls like Sandra's Help, makes I, it so worth it. Yeah, I I think that stress translated into the way I've retreated the first few callers. <laughs> Uh, and I think Took it I'm, out on you a little bit. <laughs> yeah, and I'm a bit. I'm in a lot more of a Zen space now. Um, Sandra Zen, Eric out. I appreciate it. All right, thank you, All Sandra. Right. <laughs> uh, let's thank our crew before we yes, go any further. Please, crew we cam. have an amazing crew. We appreciate you and we love you. Um, we're I, I, again, we're, we're not able to see exactly that they're up, but I'm hoping that the crew cam is up. <laughs> um, <laughs> we couldn't do this without you. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you. Are you are you ready for that? I well. Oh, there there they are. Well, yeah, the, a bit of a lag. We're watching on YouTube as well. Yeah. So are, are, are you we ready for green do, screen? We're gonna try doing love rings. Let's yes. Without let's try seeing, without seeing how well, we. Let, let's okay. See, I hope. Ready. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> and we don't know if that worked, but Your fingers are crossed. But Greg is amazing at it. So, um, whether you believe or not, just like we talked about in our first call, yes, we appreciate those people who are putting themselves out there because they can't isolate because their jobs do require them to be outside and and to be engaging with the public. And for those of you who are doing that, we appreciate you and we are doing our best to do our part by making sure that the work that you're doing isn't being done for done for no reason. Yeah, our part is to say stay stay safe and um, to limit our exposure. If you don't believe, God, that last call was amazing, wasn't it? Guys, if you don't believe, you were in such good company. We had such amazing people. Yeah, more, more than that, yeah. today who have left and who are all feeling like they're the only person in the world right now. And guys, even on this call, there were so many of you. Yeah, lots of love in the chat. Um, I wanna thank our moderators. Um, and especially again, welcome new mods. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for responding to the call. And if you want to volunteer, we would love for you to volunteer. And if you don't want to volunteer doing this, that's okay. Call recovering from religion because God, I, I yeah, they, they need help. Yeah. And they're um, doing good work. Yeah, they are. Also, before we hmm. drop off, I got a message. There is going to be a nonprofits episode today at three. There is. There oh is. my gosh. Yes. So, so uh, grab a sandwich, get a drink, go to the restroom, and go check out the nonprofits. All the at the meantime, same time. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> there are commas implicit in there. <laughs> implicit commas. I'm sorry I don't subscribe to your implicit beliefs. Okay. For those of you who do believe, we don't, we don't hate, hate you. you. We just, just think, think you're wrong. wrong. <laughs>